So in the last video, we took a look at how to animate a button with Mechanum uh, using the built-in, well, Mechanum features for the new Unity GUI system. Uh, but what about the other UI elements? Well, we can animate those the exact same way that we animate, well, really any 3D object with curves. So let's do a quick example of that. So I'm just gonna go ahead, create a UI. Uh, what are we gonna make here? Let's go ahead and make a, well, let's go ahead and make an image. Let's make something, um, maybe we had a little menu over here and we wanna have it swing back and forth. Let's do that. So we'll go ahead and we'll grab this image. Doesn't really matter what it's called. If you have something, obviously you're gonna want something besides a white box. But let's go ahead and we're gonna stick this on the side. Uh, let's make it a bit bigger actually. Let's pretend we had some sort of like door, barn door or something like that. And I do actually want it to be dead center. There we go. So just like before, we're gonna select it. We're gonna come down to our animation tool. Remember, not the animator tool, that's Mechanum. We want the animation tool. We're gonna hit create and put it where, we're gonna create the animator and the animation. So I start off with idle and be careful where you put it. Make sure it's somewhere you're gonna be able to find it. So we'll go ahead, we'll put it there. Uh, take a look at the image. It's out of my animator for me. I'm gonna go ahead, out of property. Uh, we're gonna go with the rec transform and I'm gonna go ahead and do the anchored position. If we take a look here, if I add that and we select the first one and I'm actually gonna get rid of the second one for my idle. I don't want it to do anything. That's the only thing I want to be animated. So we'll go ahead and we'll save that. And if we take a look here, you can only do the X and the Y. You can't do the Z if we take a look up here. And what was this error? Invalid, uh, nothing. Well, I actually meant to hit clear over here. <laughs> All right, so we'll come in here and hit record again. There we go, now it's showing up right. I'm not sure why it wasn't showing before. But anyway, uh, for default, I'm just gonna leave it like that. And of course, we're gonna want to create a new clip. And I'm gonna call this one swing. And of course, the way I want this is to have it swing forward. I don't know, let's say 60 degrees and swing back 60 degree, <laughs> degrees. So for this one here, we're gonna go ahead and open up the rec transform. Uh, we'll play around with the rotation here. And I'm gonna have it do a full swing over, let's say one whole second. So that means that about halfway, uh, it's if we have it swing out 60, then a halfway it's gonna swing back, be in this position again, and swing back the other way. So let's go here, we're gonna add a new frame, which is gonna be zero, zero, zero as well for the rotation. And at 0.15, here's where we're gonna have the first one of, uh, so we're gonna swing on Y. So let's do 60. And this might actually have a better visual if you're not in 2D mode. And let's go ahead to 45. We'll make one here. We're gonna add another key. And this time we're gonna do negative 60. And we're gonna turn the record off. We'll go ahead, we'll hit play. And there we go, it's flapping around. Now it probably doesn't look that great unless you throw a texture or some sort of visual on it besides it's just a white box. And we can't actually look at it in game view just yet. But you get the idea, right? You can move stuff around. Let's actually add one more to this. Stop. Uh, let's have one where it fades out to the side. Maybe when you click a button, it slides out or you have another panel coming down. So I'm gonna go ahead and create one more. And I'm just gonna call it slide out. Of course, you can make another one called slide in if you want. But let's go ahead and we'll add a property again with the rec transform. Keep in mind that the position is stored under the anchored position. So I'll grab that. Make sure we have that selected. I'm gonna grab this first frame and I'm gonna leave it there and I'm gonna have it slide out over, let's do a tenth of a second. Let's make it a really quick slide. And let's go ahead and just move it on the X. Come on. And let's go right about there. Negative, I like, whole number, so I'm gonna do 110. That brings it right off the screen. Of course, if we play it, it's really quick. And let's go ahead and open up Mechanum and take a look at that. Of course, you can make a slide in. We've all seen how that works. Uh, so let's go ahead, we'll select the image. And we probably should have renamed that. Let's make sure it's assigned here. And it is. 
And here are the three parameters. We have idle, we have slide out, and we also have swing. Now, of course, as we've played with mechanism before, you're gonna to wanna to set this up in a logical way for your, for your UI. I'm not really sure how I want this to work. I know I wanna be able to slide out and back in. And I guess for a quick demo, let's go ahead and set swing as the default. Come into game. Uh, we're still in record mode. Let's get out of record mode. It should stop when we hit play. But it's a good habit just to get into to get out of it. So by default, it should swing. And let's go ahead and set a parameter up. I don't know if we hit the F key. We've seen how to do that before, but let's go ahead. I'll turn that off. And we'll add a parameter. And I'm just going to make it a bool. And I'm just going to say slide out. So when this Boolean value becomes true, the panel should slide out. So we'll go ahead, we'll select it. We're gonna go ahead, hit play. Oh, we forgot to actually assign it here. When slide out equals true. So we'll go ahead, we'll click it. And slide out. And we're gonna come back on, um, from slide out to swing. Not on exit time, but when slide out is equal to false. Now we really should have a slide in somewhere, but this is just a demo just to show how to animate it using Mechanism. So we'll go ahead, we'll start this up. And here we go. So if we had some key that we're hitting to toggle this button. Oops, we wanna turn the looping off. We don't want it to loop. And of course, when we click, Boom, there we go. And let's take a look here, and that's it. If we go ahead and turn it back on, it'll slide back in and just start flapping away. Anyway, that's how you animate the rest of your elements. There's a lot of things you can really do. Really, the only limitation is well, what your imagination is, right? You can move around anything you want for the components of the element. So I'm gonna go ahead, quickly image one more time. You can actually even change the image itself, which is really cool. But there you go. That's a quick and dirty way to animate your UI using Mechanism. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You're a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles and falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears.